Dr. Pepper. See, so get it pepper. Pepper your nose. Am I what? Hey, hey, how you doing? It's Larry Liddell here. We got a treat today uh, down here at the Hooters of Collins and I-30 down by Cowboy Stadium. Not at, Jerry not, Jones. Not AT&T Stadium. How does that sound? I'm okay with that. Are you? Yeah, I'm not. I actually worked there overnight for about six months as the head of overnight security. Okay. It's a great, easy place to work. Sounds like some good money. You're talking, no, not really. Decent. Okay. Decent enough uh, for a pro wrestler known. Uh, through, if you don't know him nationwide, shame on you. From all through the South, uh, even down over into Noah, Tokyo, Japan. We're talking BOW, MPX, THW, NWA, even ROH. Name dropping a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. Uh, our friend here. Mr. Dirty Andy Dalton, how you doing? Pretty good, just uh, keeping it dirty as always. It hooters on a Friday night, so you can't really get much dirtier than that. <laughs> pretty, pretty much times. Uh, first thing I do want to go ahead and uh, ask you, it's the question everybody wants to know. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, well, as uh, my good friend sitting to the right of me, Anthony the Ref, uh -huh. just pantomimed tall, uh -huh. and while he is right, um, no, not white, right. <laughs> Although he is white too. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to grow up, so I don't know how to answer that question. I'm 32 years old, act like a 12 year old. So, well, act like a 13 year old, trust me. What goes on in my mind is that of a 13 year old. I mean, most 13 year olds, if, if they were told that they'd be a pro wrestler for a living for a while, 20 years almost, yeah. I think 14 years. 14 yep. years. 14 years. That's a long time. Yeah. Uh, that's that's longer than some NFL careers. And you just you still I've never even thought about it like that. Average NFL career is like five years. Not even. It's like three three to five. Wow, I've never even thought about it like that. That's insane. And they have an off season. I've been yeah. going strong every weekend. I think I've maybe taken a total of three months off combined in 14 years. Wow. I I took one month off. I remember because I damaged my shoulder, but I just <coughs> took some pain pills and just. Pushed on through. So, yeah. Hey, Speaking of height, uh, actually, you, uh, you are an unconventional wrestler because uh, you, you've been going strong 14 they years. Uh, you've been on the precipice of maybe being called up to WWE, um, participating in ROH, and they tend, uh, short people like us, they tend to try to turn us away. But I can honestly say you look bigger than you are in the ring. Uh, why do you think they wouldn't just take a look at that? And even your resume, and just go ahead and call you up. Uh, well, I mean, in the last, I'd say four or five years, I think the landscape of professional wrestling has changed overall. Mm -hmm. A lot of the more smaller, athletic type, athletic style, or <clears throat> the unconventional life of Kevin Owens uh, are getting popular and making a name for themselves and making a living in pro wrestling based off of just their ability. I'll be honest, I've never really made an overture or tried to go to WWE. I've been an extra one time. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was the weekend that WrestleMania was in Dallas. The Raw in Dallas the day after, and then the SmackDown in Houston, I was an extra. And for those of you who don't know, an extra is when you see a security guard get beat up or a random wrestler in the ring who gets beat up by a WWE wrestler, that's where an extra is. They contact you, they pay you to be an EMT on the show, yeah. be security, or get beat up in a match. It just kind of depends or varies on what they need. Mm -hmm. um, but the pay was good, it was a good experience. I've got, I I wouldn't say friends, but I've got some people that I know that work for WWE, both on the main roster and at NXT. Not everybody can be John Cena, not everybody can be Hulk Hogan. I'm happy being Rick Rude. 
Mm. That guy that always challenged for the world title but never quite gets it. Mm -hmm. The guy that everybody hated. And it was just a really good talent. <laughs> Would I like to main event WrestleMania? Yes. Realistically, I probably won't even be on the WrestleMania card ever. And I've accepted that because I understand business. Um, so in doing that, I think I was able to make set realistic goals for myself. Which is why I think Ring of Honor and going back to Japan are the ultimate end game and what I want out of pro wrestling. Very nice. As long as I've known you, I've always wondered this, and you can even elaborate more. Uh, did you take moves from his his, his skill set and use them? Um, and like like I said, wrestling has changed in a lot of ways. Um, from the research I've done, the footage I've seen, the people I've talked to, wrestling's changed mm -hmm. so much. Um, his finisher in the 60s was an atomic drop. <laughs> Nowadays, you see that five minutes into a match. Right. Um, so as far as his actual move set, no. But there's actually a book out right. that covers wrestling's greatest tag team. It was an independent type book. Um, and my dad's tag team was listed in there. And in the 60s and 70s, uh, he was considered a small guy, like I am now. And he was five foot ten with boots, six six foot one. But he was known for being a small guy that would take some of the most ridiculous bumps, gotcha. and it was really good at selling. And everybody I've ever spoken with that knows anything about wrestling has always commended me on my ridiculous bumps yeah. and my ability to sell. Right. So while I didn't exactly pull from his quote unquote move set. Uh, I found it pretty cool because I didn't find that book until I had been wrestling probably six, seven years. Mm -hmm. So to be that far in and then find out that we share that attribute, that was pretty cool. That was a that was a cool thing to read it in black and white. Like all the wrestlers looked at him and said, "Man, he'll take some of the craziest bumps, and he's just a sneaky." Like a snake in the grass, he's real dirty. Like it pretty much embodied what I felt right. pro wrestling should be. Right. Which just goes to show, like it's genetics. Like that's just it, it runs in my blood. It's yeah. who I am. We're about to get really real. Real dirty. Down and dirty. This yep. is the stuff that people really want to know. This ought to be interesting. I'll probably get heat and unbooked for some of this uh, stuff. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hulk stir, Hulk brother. Stir. Always stir in the pot. Yeah. That's my nickname. Uh, so, here we go. Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Flossed Flakes? Oh. oh. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay. But off camera, I'll show you a video of uh, <laughs> Fruit Loops and uh, this woman. Yeah, yeah, long story. Favorite candy? Runts. Yeah, really? Love me runts. Really? Ah, they're so good. You don't see those so much anymore. No. And for a while, when they, they got slightly popular for a little while, they had regular runts and they had chewy runts. The, yeah, they did. Actually, the chewy runts. Those are pretty th Those are on hit. Those steak or ribs? Steak all day long. All day. Um, while I was in Japan, there's a world famous steakhouse called Ribera Steakhouse. Uh, the Legion of Doom, Road Warriors, whatever, the first tag team to go, they made, they made it real popular. If you go and uh, cook and the owner recognizes you as a wrestler, they give you a jacket. Mm. It's a satin jacket that has a logo on it, and it's got the best steak in the world. I remind me, he recognized me, I was with ACH, and they gave us jackets. So, and like, a lot of wrestlers, you talk to them, they want to go to Japan just to get that jacket. If you have that jacket, like, you're legendary. Mm. Um, one time uh, on Raw, just to be funny, John Cena and CM Punk wore their Ribera jackets to the <laughs> ring. Like, that's like a... It's like a rite of passage. You've made it in pro wrestling if you've gotten that jacket. Like that jacket. Was it one? This question. Black, blonde, or brunette? Preferably. We know that you can meet somebody and fall in love and doesn't Black. matter. Black. Let's go down the truth. Heard it here, folks. Black hair. Black hair don't care. Mm hmm. But I do love hair. He likes the chocolate. What's your spirit animal? Man, that's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll rephrase it. If there is an animal you wouldn't mind being, what would that animal be? Some form of bird. Because I get as a fish, you can swim wherever, but I feel like you're confined to the water. I've seen birds dive bomb into the water, get, uh, get out. 
if you're a land animal, you can swim, but not. I like a bird because you're so free, you can literally fly anywhere. You probably want to be an eagle then. Yeah, because they're pretty badass. They hunt they? snakes. They, they chill I on the land I sometimes. Don't, I, don't, I don't mess with snakes. I don't, uh, they hunt stuff. They hunt fish. Okay, I'm okay with that. I like fish, Long John Silvers, Captain D's, whatever. Name drop garage. Only people you work with don't lie to me. Actually, you, you've been able to work with uh, many notable people. We're talking about Charlie Haas, R Rodney Mack, uh, Ishimori and Kimono. But x Double LP. It just so Larry happened. Larry the Great. Larry, love uh, the cape. Oh, love the cape. Larry the Great. That was Texas Heat, wasn't it? Yep. So much fun. You were like, why the hell advertise Larry the Great? And I was like, bro, who cares? Just go with it. So it's they. Awesome. Uh, Gregory James. Greg got a book, yep. And then there were. Um, yep, yep, yep. Coke Cabana. Yep. I got to be in a Royal Rumble with Paul London. And. Paul hates me. Does he? Long story. I'm not even gonna even go. I'm not even gonna delve into the Paul London story. Is, is it because of a work? You work with him and no, uh, woman stuff. Oh wow! It was it's me and Moonshine. Yeah. Versus uh, Anthony. What are they called? Kenny Steele and Quack Quack. Hip Hop Express and uh, Keith Lee and Shane Taylor, the PBK, Pretty Boy Killers. And then like against DJ Z uh, of Impact Wrestling fame. Nice. Um, uh, Apoc. A tad lock. Some, somebody else I don't remember because I guess they weren't important. Mm -hmm. But I was one of the judges for that. I remember that. It was for the show. The actual matches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. If you weren't important, we wouldn't be here. Fair enough. So straight, loose there. For people who don't, they're not down in Texas. Out here in Dallas, loose stare is a is a prison. It's a jail. Is it really? I didn't even know that. Yeah, dude. Sorry. Beepers. Cheapest creepers. What a good movie. Where? Part two is trash. Shimmers three is trash. And we're back. We we ended up talking about horror movies. Don't know how we got on that, but we're dealing with Andy Dalton. You can get anything in the Barney bag. Some can say no, the same like for Coldplay. Uh, Coldplay's you, terrible. You like Nickelback? Yeah, I like Nickelback. We watched PCW, and then we watched Shotgun Saturday Night. Awesome. If, if it was to come on. I wish they would put Shotgun Saturday Night on the network. Dude, Shotgun they Saturday. didn't? No, hold on. They don't have Shotgun Saturday Night. They don't have WWE Superstars. They don't have All American Challenge. What? They don't have any of that stuff. They got like, Sunday Night Heat and don't have all that? No, no. What the f No Sunday Night Heat? No. Uh, you Are you kidding? So, actually, we're going to go ahead and, and wind it down. It's been great. It's been fun. I told you I could talk for days. That's all I do. Andy Dog, I call him Mr. Dirty Andy Dog. You can steal that. Can I, um, can I plug all my social media and that's everything? A, that's what I was about to do. But go ahead. Awesome. Twitter is at Dirty Andy Dalton. Instagram is Dirty, the number two Dalton. You can go to ProWrestlingTees.com backslash Dirty Andy Dalton. All lowercase, one word where you can pick up one of, or I have four t-shirts up there. Or you can see me at a wrestling show, and I'll have other designs with me. Shut up, Anthony. Your booking's in the month of August. Okay. Also, you can go to YouTube and type in Dirty Andy Dalton. I got a YouTube channel there with some, some of my maps on there, a couple from Japan, some other stuff. The 12th of August, I'll be wrestling for League of Lions out in Lufkin, Texas. Then August 13th, Galactic Pro Wrestling in San Antonio. August 19th, MPX Bedford. Uh, August 25th, Pro South Wrestling in Piedmont, Georgia. Piedmont. Yeah. And then in Forest City, Carolina, I'm not sure if it's north or south, I'll be wrestling for Zone Sports Athletics. Uh, yeah, and then say, stay tuned for a... Uh, very special triple shot I'll be doing in November. Damn. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, I won't give up promotion, but Friday will be San Antonio, Saturday will be Dallas, Sunday will be Oklahoma City, Damn. and I will tell you that um, this show is pretty honorable, gotcha. and I'll leave it at that. There gotcha. you go. OKC okay, still running show. That's good to hear. Down south, here, and we're actually in Arlington, Texas. Get it straight. Down by. Cowboy Stadium. It's been a pleasure, my good man. Keeping it dirty. We got stories for days. See you later.